Okay, welcome back again to some 0k action. It's going to be one versus one replay on the ravaged map, and uh, let us get stuck straight into it. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, as you can see, we got. Oh, okay. Barely even had to skip the pregame chatter there. Alright, so we've got Magman at the bottom left and Lightman myself at the top right. I'll be going with uh, Heavy Tanks and Magman. Interesting name. There's going to be going as Shield Bots. Too shiny, eh? Really? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I suppose I don't mind this map. Very nicely set up. It's a sort of map that um, pretty much any. Um, factory can really work on. I mean even naval can technically just go around here and uh, yeah I mean I have seen a few instances where uh, yeah some sneaky naval players or even just Amphib or um, hovercraft players have snuck in and uh, yeah have actually just started building stuff from the water onto the uh, enemy player's base and uh, it's pretty amusing when it actually does happen so yeah I mean spiders can actually work but there's a few cliffs to be utilized, uh, jump bots as well for a similar reason um, there's also choke points, so bots actually um, do a decent job as well, as well as vehicles and such. So there you go. Pretty much uh, good for all matchups. <coughs> God damn. So yeah, just coming in with my uh, Kodachi. And yeah, trying to do a bit of damage. Actually taking a bit more damage than I bargained for. If I'm not careful, I'll actually get taken out. But yeah, thankfully managing to barely keep it alive. But yeah, basically Portis, especially with a second Lotus coming in, might be a little bit overkill. But still, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to breach that anytime soon. Same time, Magman also coming in with his own uh, dirt bag. Actually, is that what I called it in the last game? I think so. But in any case, yeah, coming in with a dirt bag. He might as well just jump that straight into my um, base, actually. As you can see, yeah. Uh, does have a nice little uh, jump thingy, which I didn't actually know it had until um, relatively recently. Uh, it wasn't one of the things that um, is readily apparent about it. It doesn't. Like I suppose, yeah, with its legs, it sort of looks like it could um, spring and then jump up. So there's that to consider. Bizarre. <laughs> anyway, Pan Pan for coming in to intercept it. Will it be able to before it can jump though? Maybe. No. Nope, just barely manages to get up there. Talk about clutch timing. Kadachi thankfully has healed back up again and actually might be able to do a bit of harassment. Just take out the defender, metal extractor. Probably won't be able to do too much against the convict unless if I can get straight under the shields. What is the... Oh man, he's just... Ah, oh, damn it. That's a bit of a missed opportunity there. <clears throat> Sorry, a missed uh, opportunity there because I could have... Attacked along here. Yeah, actually, I could have attacked here and avoided the, the um, lotuses, but nope, instead I'm just uh, using this thing to scout, which I suppose is not such a bad idea either. I'm still keeping the thing alive. Okay. D bag micro, indeed. Actually, I'm not too familiar with it um, myself. Oh, okay, that's what it meant. Yeah, actually, yeah, that would have been a better idea. Oh, it could have taken out a mix, but I was. Um, looks like I was on the ball on that one, and yeah, I managed to stop, stop him from doing that. So, yeah, what he should have done is he should have. Um, gone in front of the uh, factory and then yeah when the uh, dirtbag dies then it leaves like a little hill and if you position it correctly then usually you can disrupt units coming out of there instead where did he actually uh, end up dying I don't see any dirtbag hills that are formed oh there we go <laughs> there we go building a uh, wind gen on that even so getting a slight um, bonus even as a result so he actually even helped me there <laughs> uh, not bad anyway got a Oh yeah, that's the same Kadashi, I think it's the same one, yeah, just going to be uh, staying alive. Panthers is what I've switched to now, and even getting a Reaper actually as well, just to uh, really bring the hurt on him. Oh, the, apparently the bandits don't actually get one shot by the Panthers, and apparently I uh, need to work on my Panther micro a bit there. Yep, down he goes. I could have saved him actually, but nope. I let him go straight into the middle of the Panthers, and ouch, I think I might even lose the Kodachi, no, the humanity. Ah, oh, well, Magman definitely getting um, the drop on me there, but apparently I still have a very... Oh, actually, no, never mind, he's actually got a slight um, army advantage, thanks to that nice little battle there. We'll see what happens, though, he's still going with bandits, not switching over to anything more uh, significant. And, yeah, in terms of energy and metal, yeah, we're both doing alright, um, Magman... Yeah, actually, yeah, we're pretty much on the same, really, or uh, relatively uh, similar, so... What the hell is he doing? He's not actually building anything from the factory. Okay, there we go. Going to a whole bunch of 
convicts and then a felon. So convict felon ball. You don't see that quite as often as say a thug felon ball, but it can certainly be very effective, especially if you've got plenty of um, build power power to spare. So yeah, what you do with that build power is you essentially um, we get the convicts to guard and uh, thus to uh, repair the um, the felon, and if necessary, you can get them to repair each other as well. And yeah, they just basically build defenses and radars and such as you slowly but surely go to the enemy's base. And uh, yeah, a bit of a very very slow rolling thunder basically. But uh, yeah, I've seen it be pretty effective actually. In any case, I'm slowly but surely securing the top, not really expanding towards the middle just yet, while at the same time Magman is expanding. He actually could have um, put the defenders a little bit closer forward, although he does have the Panthers to worry about, and as well as the Reaper actually. So what is his radar looking like? Pretty good actually. <coughs> I've got a bit of a rush. Uh, to get the words out there, not really sure why, but anyway, yeah, pretty good actually. Uh, let's see, it's a little bit better than mine actually. You can actually see a little bit past the middle. You can basically see these panthers moving around, as well as my commander slowly but surely coming in. So it looks like I'm just spamming panthers. And yeah, Mega Man's still going to be sticking with the um, convict felon ball. We'll see how that works out actually. Actually, uh, where's my. Reaper, there he is. He should be able to tank quite a bit of damage from the Felon. As long as he can get underneath the shields. Yeah, I think, yeah, the Felon's history. So we'll see what happens, though. Yeah, the problem is going to be these convicts building up these fucking defenses as we, um... Oh, okay. Repairing the bandits as well. Very nicely done. But anyway, yeah, he's going to be building these defenses as he goes along, and so that's going to be uh, pretty annoying. Stardust to cover this choke point. Why not? Yeah, and the, and uh, even though the Panther's high health, Stardust should be able to do quite a bit of damage. I think the Panther's will be able to overwhelm it. We'll see what happens, though. Reaper is coming in, and oh, actually, that's Magaman's commander right there. I might be able to destroy him, but nope, I'm retreating instead. In fact, where am I... Panthers, I should be sending them with the uh, Reaper actually. There we go, finally sending them across. <clears throat> Sorry, sending them across, getting stuck on the terrain. Brilliant AI, of course. And uh, there we go, finally sending them with the uh, Panther. Uh, not with Panther, the Panthers are being sent with the uh, Reaper as well. In fact, the Panthers should be behind the freaking Reaper, as you can see, taking a bit of damage from those really ugly looking defenders. Ugly looking because I'm facing off against them. And down they go. Whoops, why did I send that pan for there? I don't know, probably just a bit of Miss Micro and more freaking Stardust being built up. But at the very least though, my opponent, he's um, consolidating into a losing position. So that's um, really, it's going to bite him in the ass basically. He, I mean, it's one thing to build some defenses, you know, in the rear like this, but this is a little bit excessive to say the least, especially since he's not even expanding here or even here actually. Well, I am basically taking um, my half of the map pretty nicely and stopping him from taking this point for himself. And here we go, this is going to uh, be a pretty decisive battle. I think the commander actually tried to jump and nope. Dies horribly, falls to the ground. I lose a couple of panthers here and there. But Reaper's still alive. 10 out of 10. Yeah, damn straight as 10 out of 10 efforts right there. And yeah, definitely blunting my opponent's assault there. Or maybe I was assaulting, I'm not entirely sure. In either case, I do have a bit of um, <clears throat> artillery coming in. The uh, good old pillager is just going to be slow, but slowly but surely destroying the uh, defences. Look at that, near pinpoint accuracy, well okay, maybe not pinpoint accuracy, but near pinpoint accuracy. I thought it had a little bit more AoE than that, but uh, there we go, it eventually destroys defences, and yeah, pff, these excessive amounts of status and such that he's built up are not going to serve him too well now, to say the least. Although, he does have, still have a felon, a whole bunch of convicts, so he still could do with, with the um, Felon Convict Ball, and he's actually gone for a gunship switch as well, actually. So going for a whole bunch of rape here is interesting, as well as a Black Dawn. So see how that works out, actually. In fact, here comes his assault right now. And there he goes. <laughs> Retreats almost as soon as it begins. There we go. Launches a couple of rockets. Thankfully, though, he manages to miss most of most of my... Uh, well, thankfully for me anyway, he manages to miss, miss most of my Panthers. Very nicely done, and I think they can actually take some shots at this thing. Again, he takes a few shots, only going for one panther though. He should have tried to go for the clump that I had here. But, uh, well, there you go. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay, we do actually have a couple of um, thingy majingis coming in as well. The uh, roaches actually managing to come in and do a bit of damage. 
maybe killing one or two panthers, not 100% sure. Thankfully the um, Reaper's still alive, that's basically the uh, central uh, unit that I've got there. AKA the Mammoth Tank. Good control of the uh, Black Dawn by Magman though, I have to admit. So I'm sending it just, you know... Bit, well, but sending it out and just keeping it there to barely an inch of its life before retreating it. And yeah, of course, going to be repairing it straight after... Okay, repositioning these guys. I Probably a little bit pedantic, but oh well. <laughs> I suppose if that's what he wants to do, that's what he's going to do. And as myself here, yeah, going a bit overboard, maybe with Copperheads. There we go, going with a bit more of a reasonable number of three. And yeah, that should do the trick actually and even going to be building a chainsaw which actually well, it's just not that excessive really because we actually do have a whole bunch of rapiers coming in and I don't know for certain of course what my opponent is even building so he could be you know not be going for any gunships as far as I knew during the actual game itself or he could be going for a crow or a more freaking black dawns or something like that just never knew. In either case, Copperhead does manage to chase away the Black Dawn. Very good control though, actually, by Magman. Still managing to keep it alive. He just needs to repair it, basically. So all he needs to do, the Reaper is actually coming out, out uh, coming under a, a lot of fire and unfortunately he's going to die. He did manage to make up for cost though. I did notice he had like one stripe on him, so... There we go, he made up for cost at the very least. He's going to be providing... Oh, another annoying thing about convict felon balls for the enemy is, yeah, they're going to be, um... Retrieving quite a bit of metal from this Reaper, so just freaking dandy. But he did at least make a cost, even though he just now donated a bit of metal to um, to the opponents. But oh well, what can you do? In terms of army, though, I'm still slightly ahead, but only ever so slightly. And yeah, this felon, yep, he's doing a bit of damage to say the least. Doing quite a bit of damage, and now I don't have a uh, like a central unit for my little tank brigade that I uh, have going on here. At the very least, I should have plenty of anti-air. The Copperheads are in the perfect position, actually, to take out these Rapiers. Will they? I don't know. I don't even know what the hell this one's doing, actually, going over there. But anyway, there we go. Finally, they do come in. And bam. Nice bit of flak flying up in the air. Like, I just don't care. Unfortunately, they do manage to take out my defences and the mixers, but still not too shabby, actually. In fact, he could have actually followed up with a bit of a ground assault there, given that everything else was devoted to um, defending the middle there, although I guess I could have relocated my Panthers quickly enough, so I suppose that's why uh, Megaman didn't go for that. Instead, going for a whole bunch of dirt bags, nothing but dirt bags, and more rapiers, but yeah, the uh, Copperheads are here. Although, granted, actually, Megaman. Oh, he does actually manage to take out one isolated Copperhead, even. Wow, that's pretty good uh, control over his. Um, gunships actually. In fact, it's going to um, force me to build a few more copperheads. But noop, instead I'm just going to be going with a reaper and a banisher. Interesting choice. Well, these rapiers are basically going to town on my little left expansion there, but the right expansion, as you can see, fully built up. The chainsaw also built up, going to give um, gunships a bit of a hard time. Copperheads also coming in, and there we go, actually sending them back as well for... Yeah, you know, in case of the um, rapiers do try to come in to do a bit of uh, damage, which doesn't seem to be the case, it's just going to retreat. Cophead's doing a great job following up and uh, ripping into shreds. Gotta love flak cannons. Just gotta love them indeed. And they, and they also made it for cost as well, actually, apparently. Oh my god, freaking dirt bags! And actually, might even be enough dirt bags to overwhelm this Lotus. We'll see what happens. Yep, he's going to go for a classic dirt bag assault. Actually, he can just destroy the uh, radar, which is actually a very good target to go for. It's got ba barely any HP, so yeah, perfect target to go for for the dirt bags. And they might even be able to destroy the Lotus. My Panthers can't really do anything. Actually, my commander is like a jumpy one, isn't he? Yes, he is. So jumper, level two commander, building up a geofilm plant. And defending otherwise, the chainsaw should be able to defend just fine and dandy. Actually, what I could have just done instead is, is I could have just terraformed this bit of terrain, stop bots from getting up since it's, uh, the commander was there, but uh, how well. What can you do instead? The uh, Lotus is uh, probably going to get taken out by these dirtbags. We'll see what happens though. The Oh, no, actually, no, wait a minute. No, I think. No, I don't think this dirtbag can actually attack for some reason. Well, the Lotus can. I thought the dirtbag could, like, headbutt it upwards, but apparently not. And there we go, now we've got a nice little bit of hilly terrain there, right next to the Lotus. Why not, eh? At the same time, the Megaman has been continuing to build up, finally switching back to um, Shieldbot, Shieldbot slash Gunship Production. Still continuing with the Rapiers, I disagree with that, but what can you do? So now switching over to Fugs, so it looks like it's going to be a Fug Felon Ball, most likely. Rapiers coming in, and yeah, now the Chainsaw is going to... Um, 
show them a thing or two, give them a what for. Actually, this is a good opportunity to try to stop the um, Stinger from being built, but no, unfortunately, I'm not going to do that at all. Damn it, and just seconds away, if I assaulted... Well, okay, we did have the Felon and the uh, Rapiers to worry about, actually, but I do have the Copheads to go up against them anyway, so... Ah, what can you do? At the very least, the Geothermal plant is built. Nicely fortified. Not against air units, but still... Not too shabby, but we do still have Convict Felon Ball and soon to be a Convict Felon Fug Ball to worry about, so... We'll see what happens there. I mean, I do still have... Do I still have my Assault Tank? Oh yeah, the Reaper's still there. Banish is still there, a little bit worse for wear, but... Um, yeah, we'll see how that works out today. Magaman definitely going to be putting the screws on me if he tries to advance forward. Although, no, wait a minute, so apparently I've got double the um, army value, I didn't even notice that. It's because, of course, I have a plane plant up. It's just going to be going with bombers and, yeah, just setting them up to the corner so that they don't actually get detected. Yeah, well, actually, they still would get detected from radar if he had radar up there. Does he actually? I don't think he does. Nope, only up to there, so he's not going to actually see the bombers, thankfully. He's got no scouts going up there either. Everything seems to be focused around here, and uh, we have good reason, actually. As you can see, the felon convict ball just slowly but surely rolling forwards. Doing a bit of damage to the reaper, and ouch, so is the stinger, actually. I probably should be retreating, but nope, I'm still continuing onwards. Panther taking the shot for the Reaper, but yeah, he needs to retreat, basically. I'm sacrificing way too many units, basically. But Bomber's going to be coming in and should be able to take out the Felon. Bam, and that's actually going to make a hell of a lot of difference. Should have actually gone after this Stinger instead, but um, what the hell, I suppose it's not too bad either. Rapiers will be a bit of a pain in the ass against the Bombers, as you can see, but there we go. We actually have a Chainsaw of all things set up as well on the left. And oh, Copperheads... A bit far behind, but they should be able to do a bit of damage as well. There we go, going to force back the rapiers. And the stinger is still alive, but yeah. No real anti-air for Magman. He's going to have to retreat, basically, and let the stinger eventually get bombed out. One copperhead getting a little bit too uh, overzealous there and destroyed in turn, but... Uh, what are these guys even going after? Jesus, they need to be... Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Now getting the um, air pad up. Not a moment too soon with the amount of bombers I have, but in any case, it doesn't really matter. Stinger Tower is going to go down, and it's, it's definitely made costly. They had the Silver Star and everything. Taking out more freaking Copperheads because I don't know how to control them, apparently. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my light defense is here. Surprisingly enough, also getting taken out. At the very least, though, the Geothermal Plant is going to be safe. Thank God for that. But here comes the Black Dawn to do a bit of damage. Frankly, though, the uh, Chainsaw will ward it off until the bandits come in to uh, destroy it. So, could have set up slightly um, better defences here. I mean, I could have at least set up a Stardust and a few um, thingy majingies, a couple of defenders for longer ranged work, but uh, yeah. I mean, one single Stardust would have entirely stopped the bandit attack. And I'm pretty sure the Chainsaw did have the range to deal with gunships trying to attack um, the defences here anyway, but... Uh, yeah, well, right is down, and there we have it. GFM plant is also down. Black Dawn, just to add an insult injury, was... Oh, okay, I thought it was actually going to land in the crater to, to, crater, in the crater to heal, but apparently not, actually. Bomber's still at large, though. Trident's coming in. We've even got a missile silo being built up for some bizarre reason. At least we started building that up. It's not going to do him any good, basically. The bombers are coming in, and they're bombing the fuck out of everything, basically. And away he goes. So an interesting game. The air switch um, contributed pretty significantly to me winning, as well as taking most of the map. That uh, contributed quite a bit as well, actually. So there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. And I shall see you all next time.